Hey guys, welcome back. This is David from Simply Sold Realtors. Today we have a super special guest from TPG Staging and Design, Gail. Thank you so much for, for being here. We're gonna talk about the importance of staging a home. I, I think it's super important for people to understand like how important it is to spend that money. And I guess, Gail, if you could, just give them a little bit of background of who you are um, and how long you've been, been doing it um, so that they can reach out to you. Sure. Um, well, I'm Gail Silver with TPG Staging and Design. Um, I actually started staging in 2020 in the middle of a nationwide pandemic. Um, is when I started this. So um, we've been doing it for a little over three years now. Um, I went to school essentially for design um, and what I ended school? up Western. Nice, nice. Yep. And I ended up in the mortgage industry for 12 years and then it just took a bit pandemic for me to <laughs> get the staging bug and start. start so this. did you, so you said you started at mortgage. Um, did you work as a real estate agent? No, just, just mortgage only. Mortgage? Yep. Okay. And who was that with? Uh, Bank of America. Thank you. Yep. That's awesome. And, and Gail is fantastic. Would highly recommend her for anything staging and design. What makes it um, so important to help sell your property if your house is, say like the clients have moved on to a different house and their home is vacant. Um, it's really important that the potential buyers come in and they can envision themselves in the home. And when you stage the home, it's set up a little more like it would be when, they live, when they're gonna be living there than just a blank box. Yeah. A lot of people have a hard time envisioning what it would look like or what their things would look like there. Yeah. So giving them a really good picture and making it super inviting and cozy helps them envision that and really connect with the Sweet. home. Sweet. When you work with real estate agents, how do you work with them to make sure that their branding or their marketing strategy kind of is you know, seen through what you do? So I think chatting with the real estate agent, whoever I'm working with yeah. beforehand and just getting a really good idea of what, what they're looking for, what they want to deliver for their clients, if there's something specific that they want to show off in the home, um, different things like that. But I think it's important to understand what their marketing strategy is to begin with. Gotcha. Um, and, you know, just chat with them and see what they're yeah. looking for. No, that's huge. I mean, that's, I mean, we're staging this house behind us right now currently and making that house feel so warm and inviting because you only got one shot. And if we can do that right when they walk through the door, I think that is the biggest, biggest piece. You yeah. Know what I mean? And essentially too, like another point is when I initially met Natalie here to see the space, we chatted about some things that she really wanted to. She's like, I want to make sure we have art here or different things here. Like she pointed out some things that she was really, um, that were really important to her yeah. to make sure that we showed off. So that all kind of goes back behind the scenes, right? In yep. terms of like what you have to bring in your truck for the design. Every, not every staging process is the same, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Like high level overview, kind of, but yeah. essentially everyone's different. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that's that's all great stuff, and I, I think it's important for you guys to to hear that. I mean, she is she is a professional. Like, what are I would say. What are mistakes that you have ran into when you go into somebody's home? What do you see most homeowners do um, that you that may hinder uh, people envisioning themselves in the property? So to sure. Speak? I think one of the biggest things is people are proud of their homes, yeah. um, especially yeah. if you're going to be living there and um, selling at the same time. Yeah. They've built a life there, they have memories there, so a lot of things that they want to show off and they're very proud of yeah. aren't necessarily things that are connect, going to connect Today, buyers in today's with world. homes. Yeah. yeah, so collections, um, photos, memorabilia, um, sometimes it's appropriate, but most times like we want to make sure that the buyers aren't getting distracted by yeah. the little things like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so I would say that's probably the biggest. And that's and that's huge, like that's big for, for us as like realtors is while we go in and, and respect their their home as a professional and as their advisor, it's like it, you're walking a fine line. Can you give us an example of a challenging property that you had to stage in your past career? Like what were some obstacles of, you know, you, you, you set up everything with the, um, the client and then you show up at their house and you walk through the door and there's a treadmill in the living room. Oh, 
Okay. Like things like that. That's good. <laughs> so how do you stage that? How do you stage around that? Um, we, <laughs> right? Um, we have to move things. So like that's just one of those things where, I mean, there's yeah. random stuff like that happening all the time. So do you have, do you have like, um, I, I mean, you have partners uh, that come with you um, that assist you and help Sometimes, maneuver? Sometimes, but if that's something typically, um, that's something that I would communicate before, like make sure that there's nothing that's gonna be in the way, like everything has to be removed. Like make sure it's clean, make sure everything's moved out. Yeah, Sweet. unless you wanna stage in with a treadmill in your living room, you might wanna move You know that. what, nowadays, <laughs> nowadays with home offices, it could be a thing. It could like, be a thing. Could be we could just repurpose in it in yeah, a different I, room. I get it, so. <laughs> no, so, um, Thank you so much. It's yeah, thank been, you. Uh, it's awesome. I think what it, what's important, what a lot of people don't have, is a source of where they can come to to call that person right away. What we're trying to get at on this page is people that are in the industry that we trust, that do a good job, that are professional, that are, you know, I would say affordable in a sense of what they're trying to do and how we're trying to get them money for right. you know, their home. I think it's important so people can come to our page and say, okay, Gail, TVG staging and design, that's who I'm calling. You know what I mean? Yep. So how can how can people get a hold of you? Like what's the best way of communication so that you can follow up with them? Um, I have my work on Instagram and Facebook, both at TPG Staging. Um, our website is stagingdetroit.com, and then all of our contact is there, email, everything. You can link right to our website and email. Awesome. So thank you, and thank you guys. Uh, we appreciate you. More great information to come in regards to contractors, stagers, interior designers, uh, many different, um, we're going to highlight a lot of different communities, um, bars, restaurants, uh, places to go. Um, this is just the first of many to come. So thank you guys. Have a great day.